the top of the food chain with a length that can reach up to 30 feet and weigh up to 6 tons. Orcas are recognizable by their distinctive black and white coloring. Their presence is global across all of the world's oceans, from icy polar waters to temperate and tropical seas. These marine mammals have a complex social organization forming groups known as pods, which operate in matriarchal structures with sophisticated communication, including specific dialects. Such complexity suggests to develop social culture, especially in cooperative hunting strategies, where orcas coordinate to capture a variety of prey from fish and squid to larger marine mammals. The intelligence of orcas is evidenced by behaviors such as the use of specific strategies for each type of prey, problem solving, and the potential use of tools. Their communicative ability is advanced, employing a wide range of sounds for group coordination and member identification. From an ecological standpoint, orcas have no natural predators, placing them at the apex of the marine ecosystem. The dorsal fin of males, which can reach up to six feet, serves as a prominent visual marker and aids in stabilization during fast swims. Orcas reproduce through a process involving partner selection, courtship, and a gestation period lasting approximately 17 months, one of the longest amongst cetaceans. Orcas are known for their relatively low reproductive rate, with females giving birth to a single offspring at a time. The mating behavior of orcas is not strictly tied to a specific time of the year, and can vary according to geographic region and environmental conditions. During courtship, males often display behavior such as jumps, fin slabs, and vocalizations aiming to attract female attention. The intelligence of orcas is evidenced by behaviors such as the use of specific strategies for each type of prey, problem solving, and the potential use of tools. Their communicative ability is advanced, employing a wide range of sounds for group coordination and member identification. From an ecological standpoint, orcas have no natural predators, placing them at the apex of the marine ecosystem. The dorsal fin of males, which can reach up to six feet, serves as a prominent visual marker and aids in stabilization during fast swims. Orcas reproduce through a process involving partner selection, courtship, and a gestation period lasting approximately 17 months, one of the longest among cetaceans. Orcas are known for their relatively low reproductive rate, with females giving birth to a single offspring at a time. The mating behavior of orcas is not strictly tied to a specific time of the year, and can vary according to geographic region and environmental conditions. During courtship, males often display behavior such as jumps, fin slabs, and vocalizations aiming to attract female attention. After conception, the female carries the offspring for a gestation period that, as mentioned, lasts about 17 months. The calf is born measuring approximately 8.5 feet in length and weighing around 400 pounds. It is nursed by the mother for at least one year, though nursing may continue longer depending on the individual development of the calf and group dynamics. Parental care, especially by the mother, is intensive, teaching the calf to hunt, navigate and communicate within the complex social context of orcapods. This maternal care and social learning are crucial for the survival of the young, who may remain close to their mother for several years, in some cases, even for life. Female orcas reach sexual maturity between 10 to 14 years of age, while males may take up to 20 years to become sexually mature. Females have a reproductive phase lasting approximately until the age of 40, although cases of orca females giving birth after this age had been recorded. Orchids are led by older and experienced females, often grandmothers or even great-grandmothers of the younger group members. These matriarchs hold crucial knowledge about migratory routes, hunting grounds, and foraging techniques, which are essential for group survival. Orcas pods consist of matrilineal lineages, that is extended families centered around female lines of descent. A pod can include several generations of orcas with sons, daughters, siblings, and more distant relatives, all following the leadership of the matriarch. The cohesion and stability of these groups are reinforced by strong social and emotional bonds among members, with complex vocal communications, 
helping to maintain order and unity within the group. Within a larger population of walkers, there may be several pods that occasionally come together in super pods for social or feeding activities. Despite these gatherings, each pod maintains its distinct identity marked by unique vocal dialects assigned that different families develop and transmit their own cultures of communication. Reproduction within the pods tends to occur between individuals from different family groups to avoid inbreeding, with males often temporarily leaving their matrilineal groups to find partners in other pods. Despite this, both males and females generally remained with their natal pods for life, an uncommon trait among marine mammals, orcas employ group hunting methods that exemplify their intelligence and cooperative ability. Working together, the cetaceans use coordinated tactics to maximize hunting efficiency and enable the capture of a wide range of prey from smaller fish to large marine mammals. A common technique is to surround schools of fish, compacting them into a dense ball that facilitates individual fish capture by group members. This method not only increases the chances of successful hunting, but also reduces the individual effort required to capture prey. For larger marine mammals such as seals or even whales, Orcas coordinate attacks that may include isolating the prey from the rest of its group using complex maneuvers to prevent the prey from escaping. Communication among group members is essential for the success of these operations, with sound and visual signals helping to synchronize movements and attacks. Beyond intraspecific cooperation, orcas demonstrate remarkable adaptability in their hunting techniques, adjusting their strategies to the specific characteristics of the prey and the environment in which they are hunting. This behavioral flexibility and intelligence highlight hawkers as apex predators in marine ecosystems, capable of exploiting a vast range of ecological niches and maintaining the dynamic balance of prey populations in their habitats. One of the most brutal techniques used by orcas during hunting is tail slapping, an effective method for stunning or even killing prey. This strategy involves the powerful use of the tail to create shock waves under the water by striking the water surface forcefully. The orca produces an underwater pressure wave that can disorient schools of fish or stung individual prey, making them easier to capture. The use of tail slapping is particularly useful in open waters, where prey may have more escape routes. By stunning several members of a school of fish, orcas can reduce the need for long and energetically costly chases, optimizing their hunting and conserving energy for future activities. The washover wave technique is a sophisticated hunting strategy employed by orcas when attacking prey located on floating surfaces, such as ice flows or beaches. This method involves creating powerful waves directed to destabilize and dislodge their prey, such as seals or penguins, forcing them into the water where they can be more easily captured. The use of tail slapping is particularly useful in open waters, where prey may have more escape routes. By stunning several members of a school of fish, Orcas can reduce the need for long and energetically costly chases, optimizing their hunting and conserving energy for future activities. The washover wave technique is a sophisticated hunting strategy employed by orcas when attacking prey located on floating surfaces, such as ice flows or beaches. This method involves creating powerful waves directed to destabilize and dislodge their prey, such as seals or penguins, forcing them into the water where they can be more easily captured. To execute a washover wave, several orchids swim side by side at high speed towards the ice flow or shore where the prey is located. At the appropriate moment, they simultaneously dive using the combined mass of their bodies to generate a wave large enough to reach the target. The use of the washover wave is most commonly observed in polar regions, where orcas have been documented using this technique to capture seals resting on ice flows. The ability to adapt this strategy to different contexts in prey 
demonstrates the orca's behavioral flexibility and their position as versatile and innovative predators in the marine ecosystem. Orcas are masters of ambush, using the element of surprise to their advantage. They approach their prey quietly, often using underwater relief or the cover of sea ice to hide. This approach is especially useful against larger or more agile prey, where the need for a stealthy approach is paramount for hunting success. The ability to approach undetected reflects Orcus's understanding of their prey's behavior and the ability to anticipate their reactions. One of the most impressive hunting tactics of Orcas is intentional stranding, used primarily to capture seals, sea lions, and penguins on beaches or ice floes. This technique involves orcas launching themselves partially or entirely out of the water to grab the prey before maneuvering their bodies back into the ocean. This risky behavior demonstrates orchids' confidence and physical skill, as well as their understanding of motion physics and gravity. Intentional stranding is learned socially and passed through generations, highlighting the role of culture in orca hunting behavior. Although less common, there is evidence of orcas using tools during hunting. In certain cases, orcas have been observed manipulating environmental objects, such as pieces of ice to assist in capturing right. Northern Pacific resident orchids, for example, have a marked preference for fish, especially salmon, demonstrating a notable ability to hunt in coordinated groups. These orchids surround schools of fish, using communication and collective strategies to efficiently capture their prey. In contrast, transient orcas adapted to a more nomadic lifestyle focus on preying on marine mammals such as seals, sea lions, and even other whales. These orcas exhibit complex hunting behaviors, including dramatic techniques like intentional stranding on beaches to surprise their prey. Furthermore, some offshore populations specialize in hunting sharks and large arrays, employing methods to incapacitate these predators, such as inducing tonic immobility before consuming specific nutrient-rich parts. This diversity in prey choice and innovative hunting techniques underscore the intelligence and learning ability of orcas. Knowledge about the best hunting strategies is shared within groups, emphasizing the importance of social structure and cultural transmission among the cetaceans. To hunting large whales, transient orcas adopt highly effective and coordinated techniques. Specifically, they target humpback and gray whales, often focusing on young or weakened individuals. The strategy begins with isolating the prey from its group, a process that requires synchrony and strategic planning. During the attack, orcas use their collective strength to impose physical stress on the whale, targeting areas such as the pectoral, fins, and mouth to limit its ability to dive or breathe. The method involves orcas taking turns in assault, maintaining constant pressure, and exploiting the prey's increasing fatigue. Orcas may also use tactics such as pushing whales to the surface, and blocking their attempts to breathe, an approach that requires coordination and physical strength. The hunters mark not only by the brutality of the technique, but also by the participation of young group members who observe and learn from the more experienced orcas. This dietary flexibility not only ensures that orchids can explore a variety of ecological niches, but also reflects the complexity of their social interactions and the depth of their cooperative behavior. By mastering such a wide range of hunting strategies, orcas ensure their success as apex predators in marine ecosystems. We have a playlist with other videos about predators here on the channel. Thank you for following us so far. Stay with God and go watch.